Recently, my videos have become a lot more scientific based, whereas before I was constantly talking about sort of habitual things, video games, sleeping, this, that, the other, diet, etc. I'd always been interested in science and I thought I'd sort of be able to bring that into my channel and relate that to the kind of health aspects of one's life. I thought that would be a good idea and a few of the things that I sort of started to talk about, my first really massive scientific video was on cholesterol and the cholesterol synthesis process that happens in pretty much every single cell of the body. You can go check that out. It's probably one of the first big sort of YouTube projects that I ever really undertook and sort of went through. And from there, things got a lot easier. That was essentially the sort of eating of the frog. But in a lot of these videos, I've been mentioning sort of metabolism constantly. And while a lot of my views may be very, very interested in science, a lot of my viewers may not really have been previously interested in science. Things like school, they may have just not liked how science was taught. They may have sort of been interested, but sort of went out of interest because school said they had to do it this way, not the way that they wanted to do it. And that just meant they didn't really like science as much as they sort of had deep inside of them. And they may not really understand everything that I'm sort of talking about, things like metabolism. And while I am here to sort of educate people on how cholesterol is produced, how vitamin B3 is produced, etc. They may not even know some of the basic terminology. And that's what I'm going to go through in this video. Things like what does metabolism actually mean? Metabolism is essentially the sum of all of the chemical reactions inside of your body. You've heard the words slow metabolism and fast metabolism before. Of course you have. It, the fitness industry is absolutely massive now. And fast and slow metabolism are one of the most popular talking points when it comes to that kind of topic. And fast and slow metabolism essentially means how quickly all the chemical reactions inside of your body, which might I add, probably adds up to like billions and millions and maybe even trillions of chemical reactions per second. It depends on the speed of those reactions, the rate, if you will, of those reactions the rate of energy production or energy consumption, depending on the certain type of reaction that is sort of happening inside of the body at that one point in time. It's all a very interesting thing. And I want to sort of go through what metabolism actually means. I mean, you know the definition now, it is the sum of all the chemical reactions inside of your body, but there's more to it, to be honest. I wanted to just talk about metabolism a little bit more, in a little bit of greater detail than what you may have been taught inside of school, etc. As I said before, my cholesterol video, that was chemical reactions. All of the sort of things that I talked about, squalene, this, isopentanol, this, that, all of the stuff that I talked about, that was all a metabolic reaction that contributed to the total metabolic sum of the chemical reactions inside of your body at any given time. And fast and slow metabolism, someone with a fast metabolism, like me, for example, I've had a fast metabolism pretty much my entire life and it's meant that I've been quite skinny and doing things like bulking etc is quite a hard task for me. My production of cholesterol in every single cell of my body will be quicker, quicker I say, than someone who has a slow metabolism. Someone who has a slow metabolism won't produce cholesterol as quickly as someone with a fast metabolism because their metabolism is slower than the person who is faster. I'm hoping that you kind of understand how fast and slow metabolism actually sort of work. Fast and slow metabolism is also dictated by the hormone thyroxin. And my family has like a history of a genetic problem with an overactive thyroid where it produces way too much thyroxin. And this ends up speeding up your metabolism probably by doing a few like other things with enzymes, etc., increasing production. It's all so complicated. And I've not even reached my potential capability for the amount of knowledge that I have in the scientific field. Everything kind of relates to each other in a vast amount of ways. And I'm yet to wrap my head around everything that sort of happens inside of our anatomy, everything that sort of relates to each other. I mean, there's certain things about certain molecules metabolism relating to other molecules metabolism. It's an incredibly interesting thing, which just blows my mind completely. And I hope to an extent, if you're watching this video and you've watched for this long, you kind of resonate with me within your interest in science. So, yeah, 
I hope when I've gone through this video, you understand exactly what metabolism is a little bit more. And I think I've pretty much said everything that I wanted to say, basically. Just, metabolism is the sum of all the chemical reactions inside of your body, and that essentially dictates if it's slow or fast, plus a little bit about thyroxine, plus just sort of examples, etc. I'm pretty sure that's what I want to go through. So with that, I highly recommend subscribing because I love this community of young tribal people who are willing to improve themselves so much more than you already have, and good luck.